Okay, we're gonna take a good setup, pivot it back, and then so you can see and work on and check in a mirror, just doing walkthroughs, that original spine angle, how it is set up and how it's gonna help you not only go back, but it change the direction going through impact, how that's gonna look and what you're gonna to work towards. So remember, you've got your tilt, your side bend. So from the back, it looks like that, like a backwards K, okay? And that's what you're gonna be working on. So once you're at change of direction, when you go back, you've got your two, your tilt and your side bend, that helps you to get your trail side stretched out, your lead side is in tilt, like it was at set up, just pointed in a different direction. And then as you change direction on the bottom half, going from your trail to your lead foot, as you go over, you're still tilted. You want to stay up. You don't want to lose that this way. The one thing you don't want to do is go, go down. So as you do that, you move over. Now this is where the side bend's important. When you come, as you change direction, that's what helps your trail shoulder and your arms and the club to come downward. So if you started out good, got here and went that way, you've literally changed your side bend in the opposite direction. So that's what you're trying to stay on, that original tilt, but also the side bend, it's gotta stay the same. That's what helps you deliver the impact, but it's really helping your body work and how you build up pressure and move to your lead foot. So you never want this top half, that spine, that side bend changing direction because you're gonna have to make some kind of compensation just to hit it. Good setup, good posture, tilt, side bend, that's what you're staying on the whole time. Take care.